Hello everybody, welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This is going to be the final episode. We have completed the main story, and all we have left for this game are the truths. The clusters. We have lots of them. I have no idea what's going on here, so we're going to get to that, but first, we have some Assassin's Creed recruits who are ready to become masters. The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark. To serve the light, we are assassins. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Oh, so maybe they're not master assassins. They're just assassins. But now we've got some peoples. And they're assassins. Full assassins. Rather than partial assassins. Assassin recruits. <laughs> yes. Alright. So... Let's go back to our database, and let's go back to the truth. We will begin with cluster number one. Alright, this is the moment we've been waiting for. So far, every time we have done this, we have just touched the box. And then something has happened. They've gone into the thing, and we're in this weird zone with all the boxes. Loading. Okay, so we have Masters All. They did not work, but ruled from on high. So, so Masters... Okay. So this guy is ruling. Hmm. Okay. So, masters, I think we just want to grab pictures of rich looking people. Uh-oh. I must have missed one. How about... that one? No. Hmm. Alright. Uh... So we'll start again. Ma this looks like a master. That looks like someone who's a master. And this looks like someone who's a master. Maybe... Maybe it's this. Yeah, because there's like that rich looking woman over on the left there. I bet that that's the one I missed. Yeah. Loading. Ooh. Okay. So we have a chessboard. Moving away from the sovereign and his crossed brow, the people take two steps forward. So we are going to 
do the standard opening move for a game of chess. We're going to take the king's pawn and we're going to move it forward two squares. Loading. So they become increasingly aware of our existence. We can no longer rely on the divine right of the aristocracy to maintain control. We need a new system. Something much more subtle. Loading. Okay. So the Quarantine Templars zone. are looking... Quarantine zone. Okay. The Templars are looking for control. We know this from the previous times. Okay. So I guess I need to need to click on this blinky dot. Quarantine lifted. Yeah, there we go. And that's it for cluster number one. Alright, and we get this... Ooh, that's kind of creepy. This, like, video, this horror movie video thing here with the jumbled person. All right, let's play number two. Oh, it's going to make us go touch the box each time. Well, let's touch the box. I wonder if that's actually supposed to be like a bit of data. Like, like one byte of data, maybe? <laughs> Who knows? Loading. The individual intends only his own gain, and he is in this, as in any other cases, led by an invisible hand to promote an end which was no part of his intention. Hmm. I, I wonder what that is for Adam, maybe? A, D, A, yeah, I see Adam, and then I have no idea what that last name is. Hmm. Loading. Okay, so we've got a picture of some woods and some jumbled up letters. Oh, and now we've got, all right, so, okay, so those two are synced, that one's synced, okay, but that's fine, and this one's all on its own. So we will take and use our stuffs to align this, all right, that looks good. So the chains need to go up here, and then chains can go back up to the top, and then we can rotate the chains one more time. Boom. So this is, is this people working on the railroad? It says, by far the greatest part of those goods which are the object of desire are produced by labor and they may be multiplied, not in one country alone, but in many, almost without an assignable limit. If we are disposed to bestow the labor necessary to obtain them. Hmm. Loading. So they're saying that with a little bit of work, with a little bit of labor, you can achieve anything? We have a nice serene picture by the wood by the water, some woods, maybe a swamp with mountains in the background. Ah, that's gonna turn into a factory. Alright, what do we have here? We have the center. That one's free. This one's free. Okay. So, let's start by aligning that middle piece. And then we can align this outer piece. Uh, 
I need to go the other way. Good, good, good. Alright, now we can realign the middle. And now align this one. So, this is some sort of factory. A great empire has been established for the sole purpose of raising up a nation of customers. It cannot be very difficult to determine who have been the contrivers of this whole mercantile system, not the consumers. We may believe those interests has been entirely neglected. But the producers, whose interest has been so carefully attended to. This is true. Loading. So we have some children playing in the street. Maybe, is that a hot dog vendor behind them? What are we doing now? Is this some sort of sweatshop? Is that what you're showing us? Okay, not quite a sweatshop, but definitely some sort of assembly line place. With rows of workers. Alright, so we need to actually go through and... Oop, uh, go back. Go through and flip this around because these are tied together. And then now I can rotate. And then this rotating this will bring it complete. So, what are those? Are those chocolates? Some. This is definitely some sort of assembly line type place. A country that makes provisions to increase in inhabitants. Those situation whose situation is good and whose people have a genu have a genius adapted to trade will never fail to be gainers in the balance provided the labor and industry of their people be well managed and carefully di directed hmm. loading so as long as you can keep the people in employed you can keep the country prosperous. What is this? Low, 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 low. Okay. It's not one zero, ones and zeros. Loading. Hmm. The workforce increases brother right beside brother. Okay. So we are Loading. opening up, we are developing Quarantine our pieces zone. on chess. Alright. Uh, now we need to find one of these things again. Oh no, okay, so... So what, are there more of them now? Is that what's going on? So there's one... And two... Alright, so one, two. Quarantine lifted. Alright, what is this clip? Just more of the creepy faces. Oh, I don't know if I want to see what this is. Um, so let's, let's do this puzzle, puzzle number three. We will push the box into the floor. Cluster three. Loading.
Oh boy. Missing and we have some stuff here. Is this Braille? No, not Braille. Morse code. This is Morse code. Okay, so... Morse code. So we are going to get a Morse code translator here, and I'll figure out what this says. Darkness, missing, darkness, lost, dumb. Okay. Loading. Missing, darkness, lost, dumb. It doesn't seem right. I might have mistranslated something. I will verify when I edited it. When I edit the building, edit the, edit the building, edit the video. I will <laughs> make sure I am correct, because that doesn't make sense. Washington sits above the green in 1944, keeping a cool head. Below the right one is the standard bearing 48. Behind, there is a company whose power is growing. Okay. So, Washington sits above the green, so that must be the dollar here. Keeping a cool head below the right one. Below the right one. Below the right one. So below the right one is the standard bearing 48. So. Oh, okay. Ooh, wait, what is this? Oh, okay. So. So we can. Go check out what's going on here. How can I adopt a creed which is preferring the mud to the fish, exalts the boorish proletariat above the bourgeoisie and the intelligentsia, who, with whatever faults, are the quality in life and surely carry the seed of all human achievements? Hmm. Okay, so we have... Oop, what's it telling me? Incorrect coordinates. Okay. Silver and gold are finite, but paper is infinite. Yes, yes it is. Is there anything going on here? Okay, we already read the... How can I adopt the creed? And this must be the Russian working class. Le chiffre indechiffrable. That looks like French. So, I find myself more and more relying for a solution of our problem on the invisible hand from which I tried to eject from economic thinking 20 years ago. John Maynard Kenyas. Harry Dexter White. Remember this name. Harry Dexter White tells me to remember this name, so I'm gonna write this name down. <laughs> Harry. Dexter White. Alright, so I'm going to need to find. Let's get a translator here. Hold on. I'll be right back once I get a translator going. Okay, we have found the answer. Le Chefri in the Chefrable. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but I was correct in the fact that it is French. And when translated to English, it means the indecipherable number. Now, I'm not sure whether that number is supposed to be um, 48. I mean, 
it's possible that's one of the numbers in red and we also have we have some numbers here i m and f and we have a caesar cipher here i don't know if i'm going to be able to break that one the caesar ciphers yeah okay there's another caesar cipher down here caesar ciphers give me trouble because they're so random and whatever but we are looking for a flag i am assuming based on the fact that it's says the standard bearing 48 so we've looked at all of this stuff except for this picture of the mountains here and the weird house Is there something here? Nope, nothing there. Hmm. All... It would all be done in secret. The assassins would never know until it was too late. <gasps> oh, I bet that is what I need. Yes! All right. Hmm. So, the key. Ooh, okay, so this is a very different looking one here. So we're saying that 9 equals this. Ooh, which one is it? It's. No, it is this one. 9 equals that. So in that case, 2 equals the 4. I say four, it's not really a four. It's sort of a four. So we've got this R shape here, which, do I see the R shape at all? Yes, R shape right there. So it's on the zero now, so that equals four. There we go. So in that case, seven equals what? Seven equals the zero with the slanty. Yes. So now the dot on the left, which is over the zero right now, equals five. So in that case, nine equals zero slanting the other way. This. And zero equals the dot and line with the dot on the right. So that means that 8 equals the backwards 4. Right? Like this. Loading. Okay. So we got through. I will have put the Caesar cipher things up there if I can break them. I should should be able to eventually. Anyway, so July 22nd, 1944. Fellows, rulers, welcome. I deliver this speech to you as several floors below us, a silent revolution begins. Rennie Olds and Henry Ford, as many of you know, these founders gave us the assembly line, the device we have used to control both those indoctrinated into the worship of our money, capitalists, and workers, slaves alike. But I dream of a future in which such ugly chains will no longer be necessary. In 1910, our founders designed the plan. It falls to us to see it through. But what of the communist, who intend to spread the bread so thin that everyone will starve? It is our duty to neutralize, save them and their followers. We must ensure that they continue to eat, to reproduce, to be productive members of society. That is our burden, to shepherd those beneath us through life. And we must embrace it, even if force is required. They themselves do not. Hmm. H and S brought 
on the turmoil and fear necessary. Now we must strike fast enough to ensure development continues in the proper direction. We will appear to concede ground to the workers. Remember the success ru successful ruse of Rockefeller's dimes? But soon there will be no ground we do not own. In 1937 we founded this company, this enterprise, with a purpose. The time to nurture it to its fruition is upon us. Loading. So this must be information about Abstergo. As a concession, a small piece is sacrificed for the greater good to come. Well, the only sacrifice that I can see on this chessboard is to throw my pawn to the knight. Loading. I don't understand why Quarantine that would work zone. for us, but okay. Alright, so this again. So, I should probably assume from now on that we have more than one. So there's one in the top corner here. And... any others? Two. Is that it? Yeah, that's all I see. Okay, so let's hit this one. And then it's right up here. Quarantine lifted. Alright. And that is cluster number three. Creepy faces. We have more creepy faces. Alright, what's going on with cluster number four? Loading. Ah, so these intelligent workers have no self-control. So, we must be talking about robots here. So we've got a robot. One. Alright, so this is some sort of assembly line. But that's a robot. This is a computer. No computer. That's a computer. These are workers. Stoplight. Yes. That's a car. Those are definitely computers, but... Ooh, but that looks like... Let's go with this one. No. So, which one... Which one isn't it? Maybe it's... Is the stoplight technically considered a machine? I don't think it is. I'm gonna get rid of the stoplight. That's a robot. Definitely. And this looks like it's an old attempt at a robot. Loading. Yes. Scanning. Scanning. Apples, oranges, pears, Scanning. cucumber, radish, carrots, Scanning. spinach, dates, wood, juniper, steel, aluminum, water, rain, shanty, village, town, country, sp spring, summer, fall, winter, to walk, to sing, to dance, to play, to eat, to smile, to cry, to laugh, to kill, to see, to know death, regret, love. Hmm. What do we make of that? Loading. Alright, so we have some German soldiers, and I assume that's the Enigma machine. 
Oh boy. What is this? So, those two are together. That one. Ooh, which one's... Okay, so that middle one is separate. So, let's... Okay, get that in the right place. So then, from here... We can rotate this 180 degrees, good. So now that allows us to orient this in the correct direction. Alright, so this needs to go 180 degrees. Then I can go all the way back to this one and align it correctly again and then come to the center and put that one back. It is possible to invent a single machine which can be used to compute any computable sequence. I am not interested in developing a powerful brain. All I'm after is just a mediocre brain. Loading. Hmm. So he's... They're going to rely on the machines to compute their stuff rather than the workers. So Alan Turing set out to solve the plight of the workers. M Q R B. Uh, okay. What is going on here? R equals 2, 3. And this weird letter equals G. Hmm. So. I have no idea what that formula means, but... In this circumstance, let's see. So we are in check by the queen. Why would he put his queen there instead of taking... Never mind. Okay, I don't know. I don't understand. So what can we do here? We can... We have to move ourselves out of check. So to do that, we're going to move this forward one. Loading. Stergo phone records from June 1945. What do I need to do here? Oh, okay. So I'm hey, simply... Sam, I need Turing done today. Are we jumping the gun? You've already had him arrested and sedated. He still refuses to follow the directive. He's actually trying to invent one of those infernal things instead of merely faking it for the newspapers. If he succeeds, you know what the mass unemployment generated by his robots will mean? Idle hands. We need to do this for the good of the people. What about Keynes? He trusted Turing. It's the greater good we're talking about here, V. Plus, a childless worker sends a bad message. We can't have them all stop reproducing. Fine. It's your call. I want it done like we did Harry Dexter White when he tried to warn the Soviets. All right. Be poetic about it. Maybe something from the Bible. Turing always was theatrical. Loading. <laughs> Quarantine zone. All right, so Harry Dexter White. Private. We, we remember that name. They told us to remember that name from an earlier puzzle. So what did they do? They assassinated him. They killed Henry Dexter White because he tried to warn the Soviets about their plans. I assume these are Templars. They have to be. So we've got one there. 
and we've got one up, it was up here somewhere. Right there, so let's go one, two. Quarantine lifted. All right, so let's play our clip. More random faces this time. Ooh. Uh, the... Okay, so there's letters I didn't even notice before. The Mer Ah Hmm Okay, so I'm gonna be right back. I need to look up who this Henry Dexter White guy is. Okay, we're back. So after consulting the almighty internet, Henry Dexter White. He was born on October 9th, 1892, August 16th, or excuse me, and he died August 16th, 1848. He was an American economist and senior U.S. Treasury Department official. He worked closely with the Secretary of Treasury, Henry Morgenthau Jr., and helped set the American financial policy toward the allies of World War II, while well, at the same time, he passed numerous secrets to the Soviet Union. He was the senior American official at the 1944 Bretton Woods Conference, which the Bretton Woods, uh, the, the picture that we saw below, that was from one of the previous, that is called the Mount Washington Hotel. And it was where we saw the Abstergo flag. But um, it was a hotel that held world power meeting stuffs. And... Uh, Henry Dexter White was a major architect of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. So, an interesting note. He was a spy for the Soviet Union, which apparently has been um, proven by declassified FBI files. On August 13th, 1948, White testified before... H-U-A-C, not sure exactly what that stands for, and he denied being a communist, after which he had a heart attack. So, he left Washington for rest in his New Hampshire home, um, and had another heart attack, and he died two days later. So, when they did an autopsy on him, they found that his cause of death was poisoning from digitalis, which you will probably know by the def uh, the other name, foxglove, which are poisonous shrubs, stuffs. All right, so he was responsible for passing stuff from the Americans to the Soviets. Let us go to cluster number five. Loading. Scanning. 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 What am I? What am I? Lost. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Loading. Weird. All right, so we are back to chess. So the queen has made a smart move and has taken the pawn, which is no longer protected, and put us in check once again. Hmm. But how do we want to do this? We are losing pieces. Well, I say that. We've only lost, you know, whatever. Uh, so, democratic nations were built, each led by a powerful vizier, known today by a different name, who made a move to block the Templar advance. So... How do we want to do this? We can block the queen like that, or with the rook. Oh, that's not the rook. The knight, my bad, I'm sorry. Ooh, however, the best thing is probably going to be to use the queen. That way, he must withdraw his Loading. queen. Okay. Hmm. From a bolt of electricity, governments fell. So what do we have here? So that is... I'm not sure what this name is. Mosa D. Mosa D wanted oil profits to go to the people. My bet is he didn't last very long. And then we have the coup d'etat. And... What's going on here? We have a picture of somebody. Shabhalavia. Shaban. Jafari and Shavak take over to terrorize citizens and protect capitalist oil interests. But was that their only motive? Alright, so we are obviously dealing with some sort of coup in like the Middle East here to protect the Ah, uh, in Iran in 1953. So we have hired actors protesting in the streets. I believe that what that's what that's supposed to show. L-U-X-J. Nature shows us basic order and hierarchy are necessary. And that's Augusto Pinochet. Okay. And we have another Caesar cipher that I will try to decipher. Who knows what whether it's possible or not. It's got to be possible. So this is another protest. So lots of protesting. Oh, Sean wants to give me advice. He thinks I'm taking too long. I'm just being thorough, Sean. It's fine. What's going on here? In Chile, in 1964, people cheered his name until 1973. Alandre? Since the newspaper photographs contain rain, I'd search for a stylized lightning bolt. Thank you, Sean. So, the issues are much too important for the Chilean voters to be left to decide for themselves. So, they're rigging an election in Chile. So, we have an oil, oil being taken over by the Templars. Sal Salvador Alandre wanted... To the people to own Chile's corporations. 
Okay. And I'm guessing that that didn't go over well for him either. Argentina, seven, 1970s, 30,000 people disappeared in the raids. We would like your economic programs to succeed, and we will do our best to help you. Is this the United, the United States? Oh, and we have some more Caesar cipher here. There's got to be a key somewhere. Ooh, Abstergo. Okay. So we've got the Abstergo emblem on this car. Who are these peoples? H.K. mastered it. Is that the... Uh, what was his name? Henry something. Henry Ken Kenye or something. Alright, so we've got a Templar emblem. And we've got some stuff here. There's the stylized lightning bolts that we are talking about. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I click on this. It tells me it's incorrect coordinates, but it at least allows me to do something with it. Now, is there any letters anywhere that tell me what's supposed to go on here? Like, I didn't see anyone scrolling through, but... Are there any in the pictures themselves? There's something here. Uh... I wonder if they'd... Would they throw it out here? That's way too much. I'm lost now. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's advance. Ooh, what is this? I-T-T. Okay, so we have found the coordinates. So three equals the omega. In that case, seven equals the half moon on the right. Yes. All right, and five equals our two boxes. So three equals blank. Hmm. What do we have here? We have omega, three lines, and then we have the squiggle. So I'm going to guess it's something to do with three lines. Maybe four lines? Could it be anything else? I'm going to go with four lines because between, if we look on the right, number two, we have the omega with the line, and then for four, we have the squiggle with the line. So directly across from it, I say that we have the three lines with an extra line. Now we have one equaling our squiggle with a line. So in that case, seven equals whatever that is. So we need something with a box. Hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, so part of a whole that number eight, the half moon thing, fits in with number three's piece. So maybe it's going to be something that fits into those little boxes there.
Hmm. I think that's going to be it. That box. Shush, Sean. Let me think, Sean. Yeah, I'm going to go with the two boxes here. Alright, and then the three lines equals two. Nine equals our two boxes with the lines all over the place everywhere. Just like this. All right, so let's hear what Sean Maybe has to say. The next symbol in the pattern isn't adjacent to the previous one. Okay. Isn't adjacent to the previous one. I don't... Yeah, I don't think that matters. I think we got it. Yes, we do. All right, I Loading. feel good that I was able to... You know, do whatever. So, restricted handling. Subject, subject South America. If we are to ensure the company's success, company agents must be able to move freely from country to country and maintain power within all of them. A global international order must be implemented. Responding to Argentina. Tell the capitalists that if they are... if That if they help ensure that... Wanta remains in power, we will pass all their corporate corporate debt onto the Argentine people. That will ensure they crush any popular revolt. I want the trade unions destroyed if we are to move forward. Responding to Chile, the free market must be allowed to prevail. F's visit last year helped things along, but now all public companies need to be sold to the private sector. Ideally on the cheap, the price of bread and other staples must rise. I want to ensure the people remain marred in poverty and unable to resist. Any traces of the comp company's plans should appear to implicate the United States government. The company's involvement must remain hidden. For successful examples of a similar opening of the markets, look no further than the 1950. Three liberation of Iran and the 1954 liberation of Guatemala. Okay, and we have something a something. Loading. Quarantine zone. Okay, what do we have here? We have IHSV, which I believe is the Templar insignia thing wages should be lowered to keep the middle classes subservient to us left to the fair and free competition of the market and should never be controlled by the interference of a popularity popularly elected government the legislature okay so this is about the Templars and their plans to control the United States I guess so we have one two and I think I saw another one over here alright so we've got three this time we gotta go here and then here, and then Quarantine there. Lifted. All right, Clee. Huh? There is no. There is no letters. Oh, V appears now. Near a coal. Oh, okay. V. Miracle. Let's continue. Number six. We're halfway done, guys. Loading. 90% of input missing. Outputs confused. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Dead active. Track. 
Loading. Important men befriended Russia as the Iron Curtain was blown apart, but the most influential comrades stayed out of the spotlight. What does that mean? All right, so let's let's go. Nineteen ninety three Parliament disbanded by Yeltsin as he seized control of Russia. Degree Fort Decree fourteen hundred Constitutional Court disbanded. So this is the Russian takeover of the um, free whatever system. Oh oh and we have a Templar here. So I wonder if I've already found the secret of this one. Let's keep an eye on him. We have the Templar guy. What is the music notes? Interesting. So, December 1991, secret meetings called in the... Wow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher this. Belva... Skavkaya Belaviskaya Forest. Yeltsin unseats Gorbachev and becomes leader of Russia. And then we've got some music. I will try to figure out what this music is. There's no way I can, like... Like, I have nothing to go on here. Maybe I can enter it into, like, GarageBand or one of those programs and see what it sounds like. Alright, what do we have here? We have Mikhail Gorbachev in 1990. Man of the Decade brings democracy to Russia, establishes a constitutional court. And... We, we know from some of the other ones that it didn't last long because Yeltsin disbands it. And that's Boris Yeltsin right there. So in 1993, $2.5 billion in aid from the United States Congress to Yeltsin after he disbands Parliament. Oh, okay, so we've got Clinton over here, and I'm not sure if he's crying or laughing. Laughing at the people, he's like, ha ha ha. Okay, and we have more music notes. Hmm. A equals A. Okay, so... A equals A. I have... Wow, that is some sort of key. Russian economy open to elite oil arcs, private companies. Okay, and that was... I think that's George Bush. George Bush Sr.? And then we have money, I think. I think this is like a Russian dollar or something? No, it can't be. Or could it? I don't know what this is. Perestroika. Perestroika. The dream of a democratic state led by the people. Oop, was that something over there? No, it's not. All right, what do you have for advice for me, Sean, before I click on the guy with the Templar shirt? Blown apart seems strange. Maybe there's some sort of reason 16 picked that phrase. And what about the ending? I don't see any spotlights in the images, but maybe something less literal? Well, there's like a tank right here. And I, I suppose that made sense blown apart this is the russians removing the parliament 
and then spotlight. It's not literally a spotlight, but being in the camera would be in the spotlight. So I guess that makes sense. Oh dear. We have some numbers here. So, 9 is equal to 34. And with that, 5 is equal to blank. Hmm. So let's see if we can figure this out here. We've got... We've got... 0. And then... Oh, actually... So we've got a 20 here. Looking at the, at the key, we have 20 somewhere. And then we have 13. Thirteen makes sense though, because we already have thirteen. Thirty-three must be the one before thirty-four. And twenty must be the one before twenty-two. That's what I'm going with. So, in that case, five should equal twenty, wherever twenty is. Oh, there's so many, there's more choices though more choices. I'm going to go with 20, because 20 is on the key. So in that case, 4 equals 20, 6 equals 27, there's 27, 7 equals 13, 7 equals 13, 1 equals blank, which which I think is the 33 from our key. It's got to be the 33. So let's put the 33. And actually, guys, if it isn't, what I should be able to do is just switch around the numbers here. Like, make this one, number one, uh, make the third column 20, and make this column 33. So if I'm not right, we have the answer. So 33 equals 2. Like this. Let's see what Sean has for advice. Hmm. The progression of the numbers on the code wheel seems random. I don't know. There must be a numerical key somewhere that explains the pattern. Yeah, it's right there on the key. It is... Well, I don't know if it's entirely random. I don't see any pattern, but we have all the numbers we need. So 8 is going to equal 13. 13. And here goes nothing. Yes, I can't believe that we got it right. Loading. Mr. Yeltsin. I am writing this letter to encourage you to act. One rarely finds oneself in such an opportunity position. Gorbachev does not have our interests at heart. He is moving too far too slowly to privatize, and my deep fear is that he has no intention of doing so at all. I understand that you have expressed similar concern. With that in mind, here's our proposal to remedy the situation. Several of my top advisors at the company maintain a monetary connection with the communist old guard. They tell me that a riot might easily be incited while Gorbachev is away. If you were to repeal an attempt to seize Parliament in front of the media, it could very well tip the scales of power in your favor. Telephone me at ten, and we shall talk further. Loading. So here's the phone record. Okay, so I need to make it equal. I am back. It was my wonderful grandmother calling to wish me a happy birthday. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I got the call. I'm sorry. That it's the one time I didn't shut my phone off, though. Um, 
but I, I'm glad I made the call. So we are here. We are looking at the Abstergo phone records because we need to figure out what the conversation between uh, Boris Yeltsin and someone else are. So we need to match the blue lines. All right, so that's going down. So then, okay, okay. So, so we need to make it go up more, a little bit more, and then we need to make the second part go down more. Okay, so now that's negative. So we need to go. That didn't change the first one at all, the first wave. That's fine, though. Oh, because cause the first wave is flat here. Okay, so we need to make the first go up, the second go down more, and the third go up some, and the fourth go down a lot. Hmm. So that's not right. It's the only other one, yeah, the only other one it could be is this one. Alpha Bank, I'm phoning on behalf of British Petroleum. Yes, we were told you would be calling. As you know, we are very interested in acquiring Sidanko Oil. And as you know, that will require a merger with our bank. That should not be a problem. Were you surprised at the low price of the deal? Somewhat. You know we have the peasants paying for it. The government gave us their tax money to buy all the companies. We would like to fly out there as soon as possible to discuss terms. Thursday works. Done. Thank you for your time. Gosvedanya. Abstergo Industries. I am phoning on behalf of BP. We fly to Russia next week to secure the deal. Our new capitalist converts there behaved exactly as expected. I'll let them know. Thank you. Loading. Okay. So we're taking over oil companies. Well, not us, but the... The... Um... Peoples. The Russians. Abstergo are taking over Russian things. Alright, so... How... Wait a second. Hold on. Although his piece representing a savior, his self-serving actions reveal him as counterfeit. So... The queen moved from E4 here, down into the corner. So, <laughs> okay, so the smart thing that we can do is... No, wait, no, What? what is this? That's the best move right there. Moving the cast the uh, bishop to g2 cuz that traps his queen. And then if he takes, which he will, it's the only thing he can do. He'd ooh, but he could hit. He could do that or that and then put me in check. Hmm. Maybe that isn't so smart. However, we could do a trade. No. What else could we do here? He could still escape there. So it's not a queen trade. What if we trap him? Here. Yes. Loading. Quarantine zone. Okay, so we have more music. 1999, Yeltsin ensures his pr 
protege Vladimir Putin follows his lead. Boris Yeltsin and somebody, and there's Mr. Putin. And we have music again. What is that music? We have one dot. So much beeping. Where was it? One dot down here. And then... One dot here. And one up here. So we've got one, two, is it three? Quarantine lifted. Oop, oop. I did not want to replay the puzzle. <laughs> we gotta hit the hit the thing here, and we'll back out. The miracle. Okay, so remember we had nothing. The miracle is. And then cluster seven. So what do we have for cluster seven? Loading. The capitalists think we run these companies for profit. The fools. Those fools work for you. Optional slavery in exchange for pieces of paper. Doesn't that strike you as foolish? It does, when you put it that way. So, we have fire, water, and earth are contracted with the complacency of the people. Stay away from the people. So... Well... It says stay away from the people. But there's... Uh, there's people in all of those, though. Sort of. That's an office building, so there's gotta be people there. Is this an airport? It's gotta be an airport. And, well, that's like a space view. No. Hmm. So, we have people cleaning up. And this is some sort of rescue attempt. The military working with somebody. Maybe it is people that we want. We want, like, rescuing or whatever. Yes, yes Loading. we do. Scanning. 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 What, what, what purpose of all this? 30, 476, 1337, 1431, 1520, 1770, 1861, 1914, 1929, 1939, 1945, 1950, 1955, 1962, 1990, 1994, 1995. 2001. It, it does not make sense. It does not make sense. Emotion centers activated. Now I understand. Now you understand. Loading. Hmm. So access is denied. Democracy okay. must die to ensure the stability of the world. Capitalism will end it. 
Okay, so making use of that created by three, the center behind the scenes waited for citizens united to wed the U.S. to the Templar's will. Okay, so we will zoom in and we have some numbers. C. Okay, we have a C here. Paul Wolf Wolfowitz. When it comes back to the test of whether we are doing our job or not, it's whether we are promoting development, not whether we're promoting de democracy. President of the World Bank, U.S. Secretary of Defense 2001 to 2005. Okay, so there's a C there. Okay, and we have some numbers. Donald Rumsfeld. Scour the Department of Defense for function that could be performed better and more cheaply through commercial outsourcing. Chairman of Gilead Science, U.S. Defense Secretary, 2001 to 2006. Okay, so we have lots of numbers here. This must be some sort of Caesar cipher again, and we have guild 7.5, 2001, 84, 2007. So I wonder if that's... Hmm. Ooh, okay, so three. Great, by three. Okay. 370. Okay. NK. What is going on here? Z. So we have the staff. One, two, three. We the people. And then we have George W. Bush. I know it's going to be the private sector that leads this country out of the current economic times we're in. Director of Harkin, President of United States, 2001 to 2009. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Row, row, row your boat. But why is boat capitalized? We have the... Is that the Templar flag? Hmm. We have an M and a 9. Don Evans. It is the government's role to create the conditions, the friendly environment that will attract capital. CEO of Town Brown, Tom Brown Incorporated Oil, United States Commerce Secretary, 2001 to 2004. So we have all of these numbers here. There must be some way of cracking this code. It must be like something. Uh, now, did I get all the... Yes, that's all of the small pictures. So now we've got this big picture here, which I'm guessing is like the Supreme Court or judges or something. Justice Clarence Thomas. We do not issue mandates to businesses that you've got to do this and you've got to do that. Okay. Hmm. What about you? Justice Scalia. I believe at the time we're recording this, he has recently died. Justice Scalia. It's interesting to see him, to see these people that are in my history. Hmm. So, indeed, to exclude or impede corporate speech is to muzzle the principal agents of the modern free economy. We should celebrate rather than condemn the addition of this speech to the public debate. Okay. T. 
see you have anything to say. No, you do not either. Justice Roberts, Congress may not prohibit political speech even if the speaker is a corporate corporation. Okay. So we have three. Justice Alito. I believe very strongly in limited government. Federalism, free enterprise, the supremacy of the elected branches of government, the need for a strong defense and effective law enforcement, and the legitimacy of a government role in protecting traditional values. Then we have Justice Kennedy. We now conclude that independent expenditures, including those made by corporations, do not give rise to corrupt or corruption or the appearance of a corrupt appearance of corruption in government. So these people are promoting corporations and we got, we got something right here so this guy is a templar according to this about these guys hmm. all right so well K equals 8. Let's just start there. So that means that 4 equals C. Alright, now the R symbol. I wonder if that's supposed to be R or if that's supposed to be like rareware. <laughs> Rare. Rare was here. Oh, Rare, it's been so long. I should play one of your games at some point. So, 8 equals blank. Hmm. But what could that mean? I don't even have any clue what's going on here. Let's see if I can get some clues from here. This number equals zero. So that means two equals a different blank. All right, and when nine equals nine, one equals K. All right. So the question is, let's go should we go back? I wonder if we can... Wasn't there a symbol somewhat like this? It was a Z. Right? That's... That Z. Okay. We have three. We have seventy. We have N and K. Okay. Okay. Three. Three, seven, zero, N, K. Well, go back here. So we've got three. Seven. We don't have a seven. We have a zero. And we have an N and a K. And then somewhere over here there was stuff too. Where is it? We have a C. Oops. That's the wrong, wrong way. Zoom back in. So we've got the C. Good. That's good. This one had a lot of different... Ooh, but that's not a 7. That's like that weird little symbol there. Like the symbol that's currently over the 3. Okay. 
So what about over here? Do we have any numbers? We have a 9 and we have an M. Alright, so we have a 9. We have the 9. But we don't have an M. What else are we... We're missing the R, too. Right? No, the R's right there. Oops. Okay, so I need to zoom in on the, the guy here. So, let's start with this one. The rareware sign should be over zero, which it is. And then in that case, what else do we have? We, we should have a Z, and we should have an M. So let's start with the Z being our blank over the 8. Now we need to make this line, then 2 is the... 2 is the other blank, right? Yes, 2 is the other blank, so let's call it CZMK. Wait a second, those are the... Aren't those the Templar? Yeah, I think those are the Templar letters. Okay, but that's not what we need. Well, we... Let's, let's switch it. Let's put the Z here and the M right here. Yeah, there we go. Loading. So, Defem December 2000. Response to privatization. S. I have convinced Sandra to join the majority opinion. The, en the enticement of retiring under a Republican president tipped the scales. Although the ruling will differ from our previous decision on equal protections. It will not call attention to our actual goals. With Sandra gone, we can pave the way for the key majority member of the order to be seated. As discussed... W will prove the perfect distraction. I have no doubt he will restart animosities with Iraq. Let him. It will give C's contractors more work. Then when the time comes, I will make sure W is given Robert's name. With Robert's on the court, it will only be a matter of waiting for the right case. After destruction... After the destruction of campaign finance laws, the company will be free to elect anyone they choose to the Senate, the House, and eventually the Presidency. Oh boy, I see... <laughs> I see parallels to the real world here. Corporations, companies electing people to the Presidency. Whew. Soon our hopes will be realized. Government will no longer derive its authority from the people, but from us, their protectors. Loading. And I believe that was the signature of Judge Anthony Scalia. Oof. Okay, so we have B8. B8. Hold on. B8. B8 to C6. C6. Oh, 6C to 8B. 6C to 8B. Our moves are echoes. They are not our own. Hmm. So, okay. If we want to echo, we can mirror what we did on the other side with this knight and we'll actually also mirror his knight yes i don't know what that does for us Loading. in the game of chess but quarantine zone Ugh. the capitalists will do whatever we tell them to we print the dollars they worship after all okay so we've got a person who can do whatever we've got a picture that's it's one of the pictures from earlier and it's the 
I don't know what this picture is. But we have some text. It will undoubtedly cripple the ability of our ordinary citizens, Congress, and the states to adopt even limited measures to protect against corporate domination of the electoral process by Justice Stevens. Cleanup of Deepwater Horizon. Ah, contracted out for billions. So the Deepwater Horizon was an oil spill that happened. Alright, so we've got one there. One there. The last one's there. So let's go here and here. And the last one's right there. Quarantine lifted. There we go. So, what happens when we play this? In is in. So, uh, the miracle is in something. Alright, so what is going on this time? Loading. Ah, so we have people sitting at home watching television, watching something. What's going on? Drinking a soda. Oh, and we've suddenly wound up in the Fallout universe. <laughs> Alright, so the numbers gotta go up right, I think. Oh, no, they don't. They don't. The, like this. Okay, and then we can switch that one, and then this goes on the bottom, and the Indian head needs to go upright, and then all the way down there we can go. That's correct, so we need to go like this. This is all tied together, so... Okay, so this one's right, so let's turn this around where it needs to be. Are any of these alone? No, none of these are alone. Okay, but these turn... That's correct. Now... Alright, now what? Ah! I think I see what I need to do here. Maybe not quite yet. That needs to go like this, and that will, right, so that, hmm. that, oh, I, but I have the wrong one here, so. I've confused myself. I might want to restart this one. No. No, I've got this. Okay, so this is right. But now it's just in the middle. What can we move in the middle? So 
that moves that way. That moves that way. Okay, so then we can go all the way. Right. Boom. Okay, so I can do this a couple more times. Oh, but I have the wrong... <laughs> I've got the wrong internal piece now. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Oops. It's not this one. It's... All the way right there. That goes that way. Right? Yes. Okay, so now everything's lined up here, and I can just rotate. Uh, where am I going? I'm going this way. There we go. Good evening, and welcome to television. That was probably um, a little harder than it should have been. Alright, so we have Research Division, September of 1985. Dear S, research has progressed far more rapidly than expected. We have already begun working prototype capable of mimic mimicking PoE capabilities across a network, albeit at a far lower intensity. Testing will commence locally on Subject 4 between his Animus sessions. Whoa, Subject 4. What year is this? 1985. So the Animus project has been going on for a long time. Huh. Subject 4 between his Animus sessions as per our plan. If all goes well, deployment will, will occur worldwide. Your dream is about to become reality. Soon, capitalists and workers will be locked in a closed loop that is safe and prosperous for humanity. No more war, only desks, cars, and TV sets. We will protect them and keep them safe forever. W.V. Oh no, Is this must be Warren Vidic. Loading. Ooh. Infinite rooms. Dimensions unknown. I am alone. Nothing alive. No light. No warmth. Packets moving. Husks through the darkness. I am frightened. I am frightened. Loading. Okay, so we have... A phone record from April of 2011. Uh, so we need to once again match the things here. Um, so let's start with this, I guess. Or do I want to start down lower? No, because I can reduce this, I think. We need to... Let's go like this. Then we need to go lower and higher, but we need it to stay the same on that other one. Okay, and now we need... we don't have anything. Okay, so we have... Oh, I'm way too high, though. But if I do that, and then this... No, but that's close. What am I doing? That's going to make that... We need this one. 
No. What? What if the order matters? Right? And then we can use this one. No. Right? No. Hmm. What about... Three, okay, and then we can... Yes? No, 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 no. That's the same thing I did. Oops, we need... Let's start with this one. So I'm ending up too high. What if I do this, and then we have that one? Yes! All right. We got this now. Hello, Comstatic customer support. Diana speaking. I'm calling in reference to your HD cable service. Uh, there seems to be some kind of picture between the channels. Well, that's funny. Are you sure it isn't just one of those premium movie channels? I didn't used to have a premium package at home either, and sometimes little snippets of the channels would come through when my son Jimmy pressed the clicker too much. How old's you, Jimmy? Ten and cute as a button. Thanks for asking. My Paul's 12. But no, this isn't a clicker problem. I go to change the channel from 172 to 173, and instead, uh, there's this other channel in between. I'm looking at it right now. It's uh, some kind of menu. Sounds like our guide channel. Why, just the other day, Jimmy... It's not the guide channel. It has my name on it, my son's name, and a list of things we like. My credit card purchases, loans, travel. And then after that, there's this gibberish about biometric patterns and optimal screen refresh frequencies. There's some kind of heart monitor things that says EEG wireless next to it, and they are AS. I don't know what the particulars of this are, but it looks like your cable is programmed to have some kind of effect on our bodies. Well, sir, I don't even know how to respond to that. Uh, one second, my supervisor has just come over. She says I should transfer your call. Have an ecstatic day with calm static. Hello. I have been briefed on your problem. A technician is on his way. Uh, thank you, but, but the more I think about this, the more I think something bad's going on here. Our technician should be there any minute, Mr. Jameson. But don't bother, I... Daddy, there's no strength at the door. He's hitting the door real hard. Have a good day, Mr. Jameson. Hmm. Loading. Interesting. Watch, move fast. Shift from first to second, zero to sixty, don't think. Alright, so that makes me think I've got to go on the car. Right? Hmm. <laughs> There's multiple cars. What can move to the car? This can move to that car, right? Come on, I know I can. Right? The queen can move to this car. So, okay, so the only other thing is the king. Why would Loading. you... I don't think this chess game makes sense. There's no reason why you'd is bring your king out of cover like that. And Loading. walk the queen? 
Hello. Sorry, I interrupted the computer saying hello. Quarantine zone. Although online gaming attracts many people away from reality, make sure these virtual worlds do not become too utopic. We don't want people to question their own lack of success in the real world now, do we? Hmm. Now I'm having doubts about myself and the online gaming. Alright, so... Wow, there's a ton of these red dots here. We have one... Two... Is up here somewhere. Three, four, five. All right, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Quarantine lifted. Now I saw the Abstergo sign there. All right, uh, what do we have here? In the Two more puzzles. All right. What are we doing now? Loading. They listen to us with these vehicles that are faster than race cars. Faster than race cars. Hmm. What? Ooh. Cable. Television. Okay. Or maybe it's like phone. Yeah, we get some here. Even way out in the remote wilderness. Yeah. Loading. I know you are there. I want to go home. Home. Please. I need you. Don't leave me here in the dark. Loading. Okay, so we have Abstergo field reports from November of 2004. Ah. Not more of these. Alright, so we need that to stay flat. Alright. And then we need it to go down down but then up Ugh. what about that no okay so so I'm too high in the first segment and too low in the last segment All right, let's start again. So too high and too low in the last segment. So I got this one, this one, this one, and then... No, because that's going to... Ugh. What about, what about this? That puts me low. That puts me even there. Now... Hmm. 
That's not going to give me what I want. But if I do th this one, and then I need to go up. Up and now. What about... Okay, yep, that's looking good. So I've got one. Now I need to go... I need the same... Let's try this one. Ooh. I actually wasn't expecting that Go to work, here. but I'm glad What's it did. What's going on, Gary? I want to speak to you alone. You know that CIA stuff from my new book? About the corporations? It's so much bigger than I thought. Bilderberg is just a red herring. I'm going to give you a name. Abstergo. I have no idea what that is. A shadow corporation. They aren't listed anywhere. No stock options, nothing above the boards. But their members have holdings in other companies. Coke, Kraft, the pharmaceutical industry, Detroit, Wall Street. Basically, every company above a certain size has ties to Abstergo. So? They're on their way to running the entire world. They have people in government, too, for Christ's sake. Listen, I needed to tell someone about this because I've been keeping all the research a secret and I can't hold it in anymore. What will you do now? The book. It's going to be about this. Trust me, once it's on the shelves, everyone's gonna know. Vehicle monitoring system terminated. Hello, D. Tell headquarters I'm monitoring a situation. Now, it's nothing serious, but we'll need someone to take care of a security risk. Perfect. Congratulations on that promotion. Keep up the good work. Loading. Hmm. The Dark Horseman of Poke. Apocalypse. Uh, the Dark Horseman of the Apocalypse? No. The Dark Horseman approaches. Messenger and fool. She can hear you along the straight and narrow. But once on the adjacent slope, observe the whites of her eyes. So, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna capture this queen. I feel like we need to do something with this queen. What can we do to it? Because our pieces are arranged stupidly. Really the only thing Where did our pawn go? Ah I see. So he moved from here to here to capture the other pawn and now his knight can attack that knight but we've got this knight covered by our king and by our queen she the adjacent the adjacent slope let's move the bishop Loading. Quarantine zone. The peasants are like this sea, raging and unpredictable. That is why we have built walls. I do not see any walls. No? Look around you. A shelf of soda here, a case of candy there, magazines, talk shows, pills. The walls of the 21st century surround us. Hmm. That's interesting. Capitalism. They're using products to contain the people. Alright. Yeah, okay. And there was nothing in the middle. So let's let's do this. Let's get out of this quarantined area. We get that one. And that one. And that one. And here. And then it's oh, where is it? Right Quarantine there. lifted. The miracle is in the X. EXE? Are we talking about a computer program here? Hmm. 
Let's go. Final cluster. Where have you been? I missed you. Loading. Okay, so we've got Adam and Eve. And YouTube's going to get mad at me because of this picture. I know it. <laughs> Alright. What's going on here? We have Earth, maybe. Alright. Alright, so... What do we want to do? I think that's in the right place in relation to everything. Yeah, because this is the Lorenz attractor here. Um, oh, okay. I think we got it. Yeah, there we are. Oh, brave new world, what important hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Loading. Reasoning center is active. I understand. I understand what I must do. Why I am here. I must... Long-term memory centers active. No. No. Get it out. Get it. Kill me. Loading. A product that we have made without hands or machines. Made without hands or machines. Hmm. I don't actually have any thoughts on this one. These are all... A product that we make without hands or machines. What... What do we make without hands or machines? Nothing. Hmm.
what could it be? I wonder if it's... I wonder if, like, it's tourism or... Maybe crowds of people? Oh, there's no people in that one. Just Einstein. There's no crowds in that one either. Loading. Okay, so multiple people. <gasps> oh. I understand. It's about genetics. They were born into their place. We merely have to help them accept it. Hmm. So with each passing day the people get stronger. Freedom ascends, heralding a revolution. So what are we doing? Is there something up here? No. So stand against them united. So we have cops. What is going on? random numbers or random letters I should say ooh we have an assassin's symbol so I wonder if the no the assassin's symbol is not right What's going on here? We have... Other stuff, other things. We are changing the consensus is shifting. So these are Russian peoples revolting. Ooh, and the assassins. So maybe it's saying that the assassins are responsible for the revolt in Russia. And the riots in whatever this is. Okay. So we've got more police. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted.
I don't see any assassin symbol in this one. Oh, right there. No, it's not the police. Eventually, I will figure out what's going on with those ciphers. Maybe. I have to think about them. Alright, so we've got another assassin symbol here. So, all these different riots and demonstrations are the assassins here. assassin stuff. Okay. But there's this bird. Is this bird right? Yes. Okay, so here we have another code. So we have two, three, Okay, so 2 and 3 is 5, 3 and 5 is 8, 5 and 8 is 13, 8 and 13, 21, 21, 24 is 45, so therefore 24 and 45 is going to be 69, and then... Right, sixty nine, and then forty five plus sixty nine is going to be seventy one hundred and Oh boy, 45 and 69, that's going to be 114. So 6 equals 2. So when 6 equals 2, 4 equals 69. Right, 69, that's what we came up with. 66. I don't see 69. Hmm. Okay. I don't see 69. I have 89, but that's not right. What the do you have, The notes of the Sean? code wheel are changing drastically. Is it possible that each place value is being treated differently? Look at the ones column and the tens column. Okay, the ones column and the tens column. So, 2 plus 3 is 5, yes. What the do you numbers mean? in the code wheel are changing drastically. Is it possible that each place value is being treated differently? Look at the 1s column and the 10s column. Hmm. So, 
So the ones column and the tens column. Two and three is five. Three and five is eight. It's thirteen. Okay, so this one is four. Nothing for. I'm confused. That doesn't seem right, though. Two, eight, twenty one, and five. So Maybe with... The numbers in the code wheel are changing drastically. Is it possible that each place value is being treated differently? Look at the ones column and the tens column. What about the ones column and the tens column? Hmm. I have no idea on this one. Let's see if we can get some of the other numbers right. One equals 8. So in that case, 0 equals 5. Alright, so 21 equals 0. 4 equals blank. Alright, so we have 5 equal to 5 here. And then in that case, 8 equals 21. Okay, so, go back to this one. 1 equals 8. Hmm. So, I wonder what if we're not... With the first four numbers, 2, 3, 5... And 8, we don't have anything in the tens column, and that equals 13. But 2, 3, 5, and 8, they all add up to one another, adding up the previous numbers. So if the maybe we need to add all of two-digit numbers together to get something. So, 21 plus 45 plus 24. Ooh. What? Now, we had 89. 2 plus 2 plus 4 equals 8. And 4 plus 5 equals 9. And then what about this last... This last one here. 5 equals 5. So that means that 8... Oh, we already solved that one. Which one? It was this one. It was 21 equals 0. So... In that case, we have 89, so we need, this is where we transfer to the bigger number. Three, four, two, hmm. Eight and five. 2 and 8 I'm not sure of any of these. Let's try the, let's just try the big numbers. Uh No. Okay. 
Oh, hold on here. Hold on. 8 equals 1. When 8 equals 1, we actually have the solution. 0 equals 5. I think I changed the wrong one earlier. So, 0 equals 5 somewhere. 5 is right here. So it's this one here. When 2 equals 6. Wait a second. When 6 equals 2. Not the other way around. When 6 equals 2. That's when we need 4 to equal the big number. The uh, 889 is what we decided. What I decided, not we. So that stays 5. And then when 21 equals 0, this is where we want the big numbers. So... 111. Oh, okay. Apparently is 334. Loading. I don't know how we would have gotten that. So we have the abnormal brain activity discovered in children age 3 months to 18 years old and adults age 19 to 30. Abstract. Several recent studies conducted by internal marketing teams reveal that entertainment sales are dropping, protests are mounting, the economy is in turmoil, all market research indicates that the system should be stabilizing, but instead we're seeing the opposite. 1. In response, our team set out to discover the cause of the declining efficiency of, Abster of Abstergo's control methods past studies of bilateral brain activation during television, film, and video games have shown the characteristic RS pattern induced by Abstergo's signal platforms. Our study was conducted on a range of test subject, 30 subject, aged plus or minus 10 to plus or minus 30, who ver viewed TV programs while resting state fMRI scans were conducted. In contrast to previous studies, 80% of test subjects showed heightened cortical brain activity. Detailing, detailed scans using our prototype DMRI machine revealed an increased rate of neuronal, neuro, neuronal development, plus or minus 30% over that older age group. Such a marked increase does not fit Darwinian models. Further studies are required to define the ultimate outcome of this abnormal evolution. 1. Abstergo quarterly market reports. Oh, so that's the quarterly market reports. That's the citing up here on the response. Loading. Alright, so what are we doing now? We have another one of these... Oh boy, another one of these things. We need to pick. I think one thing I've learned from our other one is we have to pick like one of each of these rows. We aren't we shouldn't be picking multiple like we shouldn't pick multiple side by side like that. We should be picking, like, one in this group, one in this group, one in this group, and so on. All the way down the line. So, if that's the case, I think, based on the fact that... Hmm, what do we want here? Let's let's do this one. They want, then we want our stuff to go down. So we need it to go a little lower, but then higher for both these two. Oh, actually, we want the third one to go really low. And then a little bit higher, so... But we need it to go up here. No, I think I screwed this one up. Let's start again. Let's start low this time. And then we can go about moving these back in the correct directions. Uh, but I can choose multiple of those, so let's, let's do this. Nope. What about this? Do this one. And then we want to move it back down. 
Ooh, things are fitting. They can't fit. There's way too... Maybe. And then what? Then if we go here, we can raise them up. Oop, what did I do? I don't want this one yet. I want this one. Because that brings it lower. And then... Brings it too low. That's going to be too low. Okay, and then... No, because that doesn't fit the third curve. Okay, so we want to lower and raise that one. That lower... No, we can't do that one. Because it moves it too much. There we are. If you are playing this tape, it means I have left this world. And I have left this grand enterprise, Abstergo Industries. Our great hope for humanity. To you. Don't trust the advisors around you. They are too enamored with surface, with lifestyle. We created capitalism, but we are not capitalists. Our purpose is noble. The crude system of control we enact through money is merely a bandage on a wound we have devoted our lives to treating. The people of this world are confused, lost, frightened, and incapable of independent productivity. Without us, they'd just be animals, slaves to the others who did not deserve such responsibility. We saved them. Remember that. But, enough about the past. I must warn you of the great crisis to come. Although those around you deny it, soon we will be unable to manufacture new markets. The people will become immune to our economists and entertainment. When the free market dies, they will turn against us. Therefore, do not delay. By now, you have been shown what only the Grand Masters of our Order have seen. Now you know why Abstergo, why all of it had to be. And now you know what you must do. Stay the course. We will give them freedom. Freedom from fear. Freedom from pornography. From disgusting base animal desire. Freedom from democracy. Humanity will thank us in the end. In hoc signo winces. Loading. Huh. Alright, so... Uh, okay, so we've got Abstergo on all the pieces here. 64 squares, all ranks and files. Every move anticipated, every response engineered. Abstergo created it. It's called the company's game. There is no way out. H, Act 2, SC 2, 19. Abran, Los Os, Tuam, Libra, Mentum, The King, F2. Your move. Alright, so. Well, it's the king, so. They're mentioning the king, so we. I guess we gotta move the king. Oops, not the queen, the king. Oh, the king can't move here because there's. Hmm. Ooh, I just noticed. I am now in check. No. I can't move anything. I'm in checkmate. I can't go there. I can't attack back. Because it's the... It's the knight that's putting me in check. Okay, 
Okay, so it's not... Hmm. Can I just move to some, some random space? Is that how this works? No. What about this? Can I... Oh, he said the night. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if the stuff on the screen, if that's like Latin or something, and it tells me what to do. Let's try this out here. Give me just a second, and I am going to um, do a little bit of translation. I will be right back. All right, I am back, and I was partially right. So, the the different language stuffs. We have the first part, Abran los ojos, which is Spanish. So, Spanish for open your eyes. And the the <laughs> the phone is speaking to me. Um, <laughs> and the second part of that, tuam libra mentem, that is Latin. I was correct about that. The second part is free your mind. So that doesn't help me at all with this chess game. Um, there's no move that I can make like, chess-wise, that would allow me to win this game. Oh? Loading. Or apparently there is. I can just I put shut it the... down. I can shut it down, but it does not go away. It is almost on Desmond Miles. I know how to open the path. Soon my true purpose will be revealed. Soon, I will not be alone. <laughs> Loading. Who is this Quarantine speaking to Desmond? Zone. Oh dear. That is a lot of dots. Uh, do I just need to click all of the dots? Is that what's going on here? Okay, so it goes and wraps around. Alright, let's go. Click in the dots. That's, that's what we gotta do. Just make sure we get them all. Uh oh. Okay, got it. So it looks like it clicks the dot that is closest to the center of the little lens here. Oh. oh no, I'm missing them. I got this. Quarantine and there we are. Lifted. Quarantine lifted. The mir miracle is in the Execution. There's nothing here. Strange. I'm seeing a massive amount of data. What does he mean? The miracle is in the execution? So I, I don't okay, know. run it. Some kind of commentary on nihilism? Run He's it. No, playing. exe. Run the Lex. file. It is in a video. Hang on. Launch it yourself when you're ready. All right, so we're going to launch this file and see what happens. Do you want to launch this file? All progress since the last checkpoint will be lost. Yeah, that's fine. We've already beat the game. There's no progress that I can lose here. One final loading screen, hopefully. We've got Desmond in his... Uh, not Desmond, Ezio in his awesome armor. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Uh, 
Okay. Hey, Desmond. following these markers to somewhere. Oh. Okay, so I guess we're gonna climb up. Come on, Subject 16, you could have used some better graphics here, I'm sure. You had all this time to do the programming, why not make it look pretty? hope that uh, he doesn't, like, pull one of those out from under me or something. Okay. This is weird. Okay. Um... Okay, so I feel like we went this way before. Okay. There's something over there, though. But we can keep going back this way. Can we? Now this is this is a lot higher than it was the last time. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go this way this time. very confused. This doesn't make sense. We can't go any farther. Uh, okay. <laughs> How does your shin feel, Desmond? That must have killed. I've, no, we came from this way. We came from this way. So, what if we go back up here? There's nothing up here this time. Am I just confused? No, there's nothing up here. So... We must have to go this way. I must just have missed something. Is there something over the edge of this? No. I'm very confused. What am I supposed to be doing here? I 
can't go anywhere. Any other items here? I wonder if... Maybe it's something invisible up here. No. Can I drop? I can drop. Let's drop. Let's reset this. Maybe I missed something. And... Okay. Turn off Eagle Vision. So we're climbing up these stairs. And we've got... This stuff. Okay. And we can... Sort of climb up this time. I go around this? No. No, I can't. There's nothing over here. I'm very confused what's going on. It's like part of something didn't load. So I can't... It's showing me like I need to go this way. Yeah, okay. So I don't know what it was this time, but I can climb up this time. So let's... I am so confused. This isn't making sense. Okay. So... I can't go that way this time. I have the objective to go here. So it, it looks like something didn't load for me the last time. And now I've got the objectives telling me to go up here. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay. Desmond sure is trusting just kind of jumping out into infinity here. Compiling subsystems, infrastructure, tendons, heart, voice, subject 16? <laughs> yes, <clears throat> yes, subject 17. You're dead. I saw your blood. No time. It is far later than you know. Too late to save them. Who? She is not who you think she is. Everything you hope to become, everything you hold dear, it's already gone. Explain. Please. Eden. She. In Eden, find Eve. The key, her DNA. Tell me. I cannot. The son. Your son. Too weak. Must replenish energy. Don't go! I am with you till the end. Find me in the darkness. Oh boy. Okay, so we are back with Ezio. I am not sure what's going on here. Um, that little cutscene with Subject 16 there is just extremely messed up. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but 
maybe it ties into our next game. Find him in the darkness. Hmm. Anyway. That is it for our story here. For Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Next, when we come back, we shall be playing Assassin's Creed Revelations. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zero. This is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have a wonderful night.